Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. This is the Miniature Showcase. The Miniature Showcase takes a look at different miniatures from different manufacturers. Now today we will look at some miniatures from Warlord Games' Bolt Action Game. These figures are 28mm and are from the British 8th Army box. I am just going to look at one frame from the box set today. Now here's the frame you get from the 8th Army or Desert Rats Infantry box set from Warlord Games. On this frame, you get six bodies and a whole host of different bits for you to choose from. This gives you a lot of combinations that you can compose to get a unique feel to your force. Now what I'm going to do today is I'm going to build five different figures using four different heads and one NCO head. I will put this on display at the shop so Visitors will be able to consider the different nations that, uh, that they can compose from the box set. This hopefully will be a great way to help inspire players to choose or at least consider the other nations, especially when they see the finished model. So let's look at the frame. Just a quick look and you can already see the amount of detail there is on the parts that make up the frame. There are also six distinct poses for you to choose from. There are six heads from four nations to choose. I want to have a look at the heads first. This, I guess, is the South Asian part of the frame. I love the fact that there was a conscious effort to make all the heads you can choose quite varied. A quick overview and you can already see some older faces on these heads and some younger faces on the heads. Also, note that the Indian turbans and the Sikh turbans also see some variety in look. The other part of the frame are the Scots and the average British soldier. Even on these, there are a host of different looks with one looking determined and one looking stoic on the Scot part, for example. On the British frame, the different helmet types and how they are worn coupled with the expressions offer well, quite a few combinations to the aspiring modeler. We then see the left arms and right arms they suggest to combine for a figure with some left arms holding an extra magazine for the arm holding the machine gun, perhaps. And then we have two arm pieces holding the rifles and attached bayonets, followed by a series of arms holding the rifle in different poses. The left hand that is suggested to hold the rifle steady and the free arm to put a weapon or tool, if you so wish. Now, if you look closely, there's also an NCO hit there for you to choose from. We then have holsters and pouches with more arm options. There are different kinds of backpacks. There are arms carrying different tools. A sniper rifle with suggested arms. There's a prone figure, which I will not be composing in this video. The ever trusty brand gun with a few torso pieces. Another arm with a brand gun for variety. I keep moving back to the head simply because while the rest of the frame is rather general, the head options are quite specific. I like the look of the whole frame and uh, <laughs> I, think, I think the price tag likes the frame as well. Um, so let me remove this. Ah, come on. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six bodies. But like I mentioned earlier, I won't be composing the prone figure. So yeah, that's the frame. Lots of options as I said earlier, and I would love to start choosing hits that I want to use for the five figures that I want to compose. First, let's look at the six heads. These are six heads to choose from for the six body parts. I must say, all are very nicely done but I'm gonna have to choose one this is not gonna be an easy choice but I will choose this guy over here he's got a full beard and he looks pretty mean next up the Indians again five different heads to choose from you can already see the character in these wallet sculpts however there are five different looks one has a mustache on the far left and then you have one on the far right which looks like a, a young age boy there are different types of turbans. These turbans are made from the kula, which is like a cone headpiece. 
and wrapped with a pagri to make the uh, turban. I looked for what the kula looked like for reference, and here it is. This is the picture I got from the Osprey Publications um, book on the different parts that make up the turban. The kula turban was used by the Indian Muslim troops in the British Army. Looking at all the different choices I have, I want to go for what looks like the younger chap, but um, but I think I'll choose this guy over here. He's got a very serious look, which I quite like. We then look at the Scots. The Scots are wearing the Balmoral bonnet. I found a picture as a reference to what the bonnet looks like. Here it is. Another six heads to choose from. I'm going to choose this guy over here because he's got an extremely mean face. I mean, he looks like he means business. He looks like a lot of trouble. Finally, we're going to have a look at the British soldier. The expression on these heads are a win for the frame, to be honest. Each of these Tommy heads look like they are screaming to be chosen for your model. Unfortunately, I can choose only one. And I will choose this one. I sat down over an evening painting these five figures. And let me just say that they turned out quite good. The composing part of the project was a lot of fun. I chose to only use the basic rifle and machine gun for all the models and I resisted the temptation to fully kit out these figures. Here are the paints I used for the overall project. I used different skin tones from the Army Painter skin tone set and I'll share the colors I use when we look at each figure on its own. The uh, secret sauce for these figures is the 50-50 mix of strong tone and quick shade mixing medium for that light but defined look of the figure. So, first let's look at the Indian soldier. He's part of the 4th Indian Division. This division was a major Indian army formation that fought alongside the British 7th Armoured Division in North Africa. Um, they played a vital role in various battles, including the defense against Axis forces during the early stages of the North Africa campaign. For the skin, I used Mocha Flesh as the base, Jasper Skin as the highlight, and Quick Shade Soft Skin Wash to finish. Next, the Sikh Soldier. This troop is probably part of the Sikh Regiment that served with the Desert Rats. The Sikh Regiment was one of the most renowned regiments of the Indian Army during World War II. Sikh soldiers were from this regiment were from part of various Indian divisions and units that served in North Africa. They were known for their bravery and tenacity in battle. For the skin, I used Jasper skin as the base, Topa skin as the highlight and a quick shade soft wash to finish. The Scott soldier is probably part of the Black Watch, which would be my guess because the Balmoral bonnet is associated with this regiment. The Black Watch or the Royal Highland Regiment is a famous Scottish regiment which was also part of the British 7th Armoured Division during the North African campaign. They played a role in infantry operations and engagements against Axis forces. For the skin, I used Jasper skin as the base, Ruby skin as the highlight and Quick Shade soft wash to finish. Finally, the British soldier who found himself in an environment that was very alien to him. A dry desert battlefield miles away from home. He's part of the British 7th Infantry Division, one of the key formations for the 8th Army in North Africa. Now for the skin, I used Dorado skin as the base and highlighted with the Amber skin and finish it off again with Quick Shade Soft Wash. The NCO was based with a Barbarian Flesh and highlighted with Ruby Skin and a quick shade of soft skin wash was done as well. As you can probably tell, I had a little bit of fun doing this figure. He looks like he's shouting orders while subconsciously he's trying to hide what he's saying from the enemy. However, with all the noise that the, of the uh, weapons being fired, we all know not a person on a battlefield heard anything he said. So there you have it, five different figures 
with five different looks from one frame. It's not something that everyone would attempt to build and paint, but I was hoping that this one frame would inspire at least one person in my store to give the different nations a go and build an entire army for it. These Warlord Games infantry frames are extremely action-packed and the sculpts on these frames are chunky and suggest the action hero narrative, which I think is uh, unique to Warlord Games. The options given will fatten your bits box and the fact that these are plastic means for those of you who enjoy a conversion or two <laughs> will find their job much, much easier. In summary, this is a fantastic frame. So that's the video. I hope you enjoy my little project. Like and subscribe and don't forget to enjoy painting those figures.